Hey, what is up guys? So as you can see, I've been a little absent from the channel recently. Killing the Mothman smashed 10,000 views somehow, which still blows my mind and there's been a lot of news to catch up on in the Fallout world. I was sick for the past week and a half and then I had a few days away for a trip and I'm still a bit under the weather as you can probably hear, so like bear with me in this. Regardless though, this topic needs no introduction whatsoever. And you guys already know what I'm talking about when I say that. And, you know, because it's probably part of the title and the thumbnail. Anyway, all good and, well, even not so good stories have a beginning, middle, and an end. So let's start at the beginning. And then we'll just run through this very quickly as to not bore those of you who already know all about it. Which is probably about 90% of those watching. Firstly, Bethesda got called out for the whole bag situation. It was nylon and not canvas as advertised. People understandably got pretty pissed at them for this. Bethesda then offered 500 atoms for those affected by this. People got more pissed at Bethesda. During this, Bethesda also began facing some legal trouble with the game's refund policy causing a bit of a stink. Although it's said that the company pursuing this regularly throw out what is basically just empty threats. So as Eurogamer said, it could be more of a hopeful call to arms for a lawsuit which could earn the firm money rather than a serious legal challenge. Bethesda then buckled up, got out their PR handbook and decided to properly address Baggate. After the backlash of 500 atoms of compensation and presumably the very real fear of being sued, Bethesda tweeted this. We are finalising manufacturing plans for replacement canvas bags for the Fallout 76 Power Armour Edition. If you purchase the Collector's Edition, please visit the following link and submit a ticket by Jan 31st, 2019. We'll arrange to send you a replacement bag as soon as the bags are ready. Which, in my opinion, is great and all, but the by January 31st 2019 bit leads me to believe that we could be waiting a very long time for the bags, which, you know, we actually paid for to arrive on November 14th. So, yeah, just think about that a little bit. Also, just to throw this out there, I was too ill and honestly couldn't give less of a fuck to get my 500 atoms, but now I've missed my chance, it's a bit of a kick in the head, and I want my goddamn bag and my stupid in-game currency, which is drastically undervalued against what you get for your money, but whatever, that's a story for a different day. Anyway, little rant aside, that's basically the rundown of what's happened on Bethesda's destruction path recently. To add my two cents to the issue though, I think 500 atoms is quite frankly offensive for those who paid what is realistically quite a lot of money for most people. I mean, £175 in Britain is kind of a lot of money. I mean, a lot of people who work full time, that's probably a fair chunk of, you know, their monthly wage. So, you know, factoring the fact you've got to live and stuff with the rest of your money, nearly 200 quid is quite a lot of money to part with. The replacement bags and all is a great gesture, but after the initial insult of what is $5 of in-game currency, it's lost a lot of its merit to be fair. The whole legal saga though is just another part of the hate train, and people seem to be joining it to do whatever they can to hurt Bethesda, which I'm not getting into in this video, as I'm just as biased, although on the completely opposite side, as those who hate them and would gladly fight in the corner against Bethesda. But yeah, that's bad gate and slightly less importantly my return after a brief and well needed break. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? And thank you for those of you who already have subscribed. It means a hell of a lot to me and I hope to be covering this kind of thing and pretty much anything Fallout that I can, including of course the very recent update as of recording this, which as I said I was away, didn't get a chance to do. I'm of course back at work now, you know, having a full time job and stuff. You know, not having access to my computer, my Xbox, all of that good stuff. But yeah, I definitely plan to make a lot more content like this, as you guys have already seen. I've put out what I'd like to think is a lot of high quality content anyway. So, I mean, it's definitely worth sticking around for that. And if we could hit 100 subscribers by the end of 2018, that'd be an absolutely mind-blowing gift. And would make a pretty cool 21st birthday for me, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be very, very happy with that. And if there's any content you guys do want to see or even want to be a part of, 
let me know in the comments below. I try and reply to every comment I get. Although with so many comments on the Mothman video, I am actually losing a few of them here and there. So I am trying to like them as soon as I like get them on my phone or whatever when I've got a minute. Anyway guys, that is it for this video and a quick rundown on all the Bethesda stuff. And hopefully the end of this whole bag gate situation. It's good, but at the end of the day we're getting what we paid for. I'm not getting onto Bethesda deceiving people or anything like that. I mean there's the whole situation of them giving bags to influencers. Which, you know, is a bit of an issue in itself. But there's always going to be these big companies giving preferential treatment to those who are going to positively impact the launch of their game, the sales of their game, and whatnot. If people have very impressionable audiences and regularly post about the stuff that these developers are making anyway, then why not get your content directly in the hands of that creator, show the best side of it, the creator is then likely to probably promote this content and very happy to do so. Especially if there's money or, you know, other perks of doing this, including exposure from the company themselves. So, I mean, that's a whole cycle anyway, and happens with a lot of things. So I'm not even going to get into that, I'm just sort of briefly brushing over the politics of what's happened, what they've done to combat it, how I feel after the whole sort of thing, which obviously is a little bit cheated out of my money. But, to be fair, am I going to use the bag when it gets here anyway? Am I using the bag they gave me now? No, I was going to use it for my trip, but then decided carrying around a duffel bag made of nylon wasn't the best idea. Then all of this came out anyway. So, I mean, I'm not going to use a canvas one. Definitely not going to be using a nylon one. So, at the end of the day, it doesn't really bother me, but then, of course, taking my stance is what leads these big corporations to do this kind of thing. If people don't care and don't take a stand, then obviously more things like this happen. Which I totally understand, and of, of course I'm on the side of the consumer, you know, being a consumer. Still, hopefully that doesn't take away from any of this. That's just my sort of two cents on it all, as I've said. It does need to be raised. It is a really shit move at the end of the day. But they've actioned it now. We're getting what we actually paid for. Although a little late, of course. They did try and remedy it at first. It didn't work. And now we're here at hopefully the conclusion, like I said. But anyway, that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you have any thoughts on this situation and any of Bethesda's other shithousera, let me know down below. Let's get talking about this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and peace.